Well, more money is on its way to assist refugee resettlement agencies across the state as they continue to respond to an influx of evacuees from Afghanistan. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. We're also getting new numbers on just how many evacuees from Afghanistan Western New York will receive. Channel 2's Jeff Praval has the story for us tonight. Jeff? Yeah, hi there, Scott and Mary Alice. Well, this funding comes at an important time as the number of Afghan refugees coming to Buffalo ticks upward. It's been over three months since the deadly bombing at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan that killed 13 U.S. service members. Since then, Afghan refugees have been fleeing to the U.S. New York State expects to relocate nearly 1,800 Afghan evacuees. Today, Governor Kathy Hochul announced an additional $2 million for refugee resettlement agencies, boosting the state's commitment to $5 million. So we're going to be providing medical care mental health treatment because of the incredible stress that individuals who've been displaced from their world that they always knew growing up and are now in a very foreign place. The governor's office now says nearly 500 Afghan evacuees are expected to arrive in Buffalo, 50 in Niagara Falls. Some are already here. Others will arrive early next year. New York stories has always been one of immigrants. And these brave Afghan refugees are here to help us write the next chapter in that great story. At Jericho Road Community Health Center, Afghan refugees have received health screenings and ongoing medical care. There's a lot of needs, particularly around trauma and, and needing extra support to kind of work through the trauma that happened and how it happened. Jericho Road's chief medical officer says the funding from the state comes as a surprise. This has been a unique resettlement process um, for a lot of different reasons and especially towards the beginning we thought we were going to be getting no support from anywhere. And that overall the local resettlement process has been smooth. I've been so thrilled at the way that the partners have all come together and really worked on a group effort. And Jericho Road's chief medical officer says Afghan refugees will be vaccinated against the coronavirus when they get here. Some Sunni schools are providing housing and laptops for evacuees. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Jeff Pavral, Channel 2 News.